Hi, this is Dr. Tom Durrell with Surepoint ER Medical Center on Padre Island. Uh, we are coming to you today uh, to discuss some of the uh, beachfront injuries that we see and waterfront injuries that we see uh, so that you know what to do about these things. I've been practicing uh, here on the coast for many years. Uh, we've had a lot of experience over the years with numerous types of on-the-water injuries. And one of the most common things that we run into uh, that people want to know about is what do we do with jellyfish teams? Um, so the good news is, is that here in, uh, on the Texas coast, there are not really any seriously dangerous jellyfish uh, like you find in other parts of the world, like the box jellyfish or some of these ones that can be life-threatening. Uh, typically, uh, the types of things that we run into with our jellyfish down here is mostly just stinging pain from the tentacles and stuff. So when you are in the water, the first thing to do is to be aware of your surroundings and pay attention to which direction the current's coming from and whether or not you see any jellyfish in the water. Um, if you do see jellyfish in the water, you want to be on the upcurrent side of them so that you stay out of their tentacles. That's the first thing to do to try to prevent it. The other thing to do, especially if you have kids, is to try to keep them from playing in the sargassum, which is a seaweed that we see on the beach, because many times these jellyfish are wrapped up in that sargassum and the kids will be playing in it, chasing little critters and things like that, and they'll get into them, especially if they're toddler age. Um, so if you are unfortunate enough to get wrapped up in some tentacles, usually you're going to feel some immediate stinging, burning type pain. Uh, it won't be severe, but it'll be enough to get your attention. Uh, and so if that happens, then the thing that you don't want to do is to pour uh, fresh water on it, uh, urinate on it, uh, you don't want to be like the people on the Survivor TV show. Then none of that stuff actually works. In fact, makes it worse. So if that happens, you will cause the little nematocysts that uh, release poison from the ten tentacles to fire off if you put fresh water on them. So the best thing to do if you run into a jellyfish uh, where the tentacles get on you is to use the salt water to help wash the tentacles off so you don't allow the nematocysts to to uh, fire off, uh, and, uh, and, and you can also use uh, sand that's in the salt water, uh, and you can manually pick these things off. Uh, that's a better idea than pouring fresh water, ice, or anything else on there, uh, which is going to actually make it worse. Uh, so the first thing to do is try to mechanically get them all off uh, while you're in the salt water. Uh, next thing uh, that I like to do is to use acetic acid, which is plain vinegar. So it's a good idea to keep some of that stuff uh, in your car if you're at the beach. You can buy it at the grocery store and at the pharmacy. Uh, that will also tend to help. Uh, even if they've already fired off, it tends to help some. Uh, other folks uh, will sometimes recommend meat tenderizer paste. That can help some as well. Uh, and I've even had uh, uh, patients that were, you know, biochemists and stuff uh, make uh, paste out of papaya because it has papain in it. Uh, all of these things tend to break down the, the uh, uh, sort of venom that you get from these things and help shorten uh, the course of the, of the pain. Uh, I also have found that using topical steroids uh, such as hydrocortisone or hemorrhoid creams with uh, steroid in it uh, topically, those will also help it go away a little bit faster. Uh, and uh, after applying topical agents to it, uh, usually you will shorten the course of the illness. Uh, and just knowing that it's not going to do anything harmful to you is, is usually very helpful as well. Uh, so what I would tell you is, is just be careful with your environment. Look out for them. If you get into them, you kind of know what to do now. Uh, if you are unfortunate enough to have severe pain or you feel like you are having an allergic reaction of some sort, uh, that is a little bit different uh, animal than just having a mild jellyfish sting. Uh, if you start getting swelling in your lips, throat, uh, and uh, start to feel short of breath or panicky, uh, that's the time to head into the emergency room. Uh, there are times where you have anaphylaxis from one of these in somebody that is uh, especially allergic uh, to uh, jellyfish. Uh, and a lot of times they'll know that because they'll have a prior experience to it. So if that happens, make sure you run up to the ER and uh, we'll take good care of you there uh, and so that uh, we can get you stabilized, get some of the right medications into you, uh, reverse any kind of allergic reaction you might have. So be careful out there on the beach and watch out for those jellyfish.